camp going for you guys and your position group in particular, Thad? Overall, man, just uh, pleased where we are uh, from day one, uh, from practice one all the way to where we are right now. And I'm um, just excited about this group, uh, just how hard they've been working. Um, the strides we've made since from spring to now, uh, we've made a big jump. Just just really happy with where we are. Um, I think we're trending in the right direction. Um, really trying to now hone everything in and, and uh, just continue to be consistently consistent in everything we do. Seems like we've heard a lot about Josh and Reggie in particular. Uh, how have you seen them embrace this? I don't know, 1A, 1B, tied for one role, whatever, however you would describe it. Yeah, they just really see that we need all, all both of them. You know, to, for us to be successful as an offense, for us to be successful as a team, uh, they understand that we need both of them to be successful, playing at a high level and, and, and even uh, bringing more guys into the fold as we go. Great. How are you able to build a relationship with Josh? Quickly, let's hang on to that. What's been fun about that? Uh, great kid, uh, great kid, man, and, and wants to be coached and eager to learn. Uh, that's always a good uh, recipe. Um, and just really, um, just, you know, he spends a lot of time up here. Spends a lot of time in the film room, wants to be great, um, and you want to coach those kind of guys. I know, I don't think Greg Hunter was using a rotation that you got over with Josh Nogier. What do you like about the prospect of doing that with different guys? I think it gives you a chance to keep fresh guys in the game, you know, and and, um, and so guys can play fast and, and, and play and be at their best at all times. I think iron sharpens iron. These guys uh, really compete against each other every single day to make each other better, and they play off of that. What kind, if any, of buy-in is required of those guys to kind of understand that by, by committee approach? Absolutely, they 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 bought in, they bought in holistically to that, um, and they understand, you know, that we need each other. They need each other. They're competitive. They're friends on and off the field, um, which makes it even easier. And they're rooting for one another every single play, every single drive uh, that they're not in because they know their number could be called that next previous play, that next play. How's Aiden looking uh, healthy, uh, I guess, in fall camp? How, what have you seen from him? Aiden's been great, man. He's 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 one of those guys I'm talking about with, from spring to now making strides every single day. Uh, whether we want to see guys make small uh, small strides every single day. Please, where he's at, he's, he's has a role. Um, he's doing a really good job uh, catching the ball out of backfield, uh, running the ball out of backfield, running the ball in between the tackles. So he's showing up. He's doing a good job this, this camp. What about someone like Jordan? Um, I'm guessing similar, but how does he complement, especially Josh, given they're kind of similar physically? Yeah, uh, you know, I, we like all different ty types of flavors here in the, in the running back room, and uh, Jordan brings another element where he does catch the ball good out of the backfield, um, but he's able to run the ball in between the tackles, a big load, and he finishes in a dominated position, and, and so he brings that every single time. Are his hands a little surprising for someone as big as he is? Not really, you know, okay. not really um, be because... Um, you know, he's. He, if you work at it, you can catch the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so he, he's 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 been good. He's been good catching the ball all all camp. Yes. What have you learned about Caden since getting him on campus and seeing him? Really good athlete, uh, good size, um, strong, really good kid. It's important to him. Yeah. He has all the intangibles. He, ha he he's going to be a really good player for us. Um, just just how he uh, goes about his daily routine. Um, just the kind of kid you want to coach. Um, and every single day, every single practice, he's making jumps. Um, and and um, I've been pleased where he's at. He's had a lot of success this camp and uh, look forward to continuing it. What's the process of, as a coach to not let him get overwhelmed? I mean, you're a freshman coming from 1A high school football to, to the Big Ten. Like, how do you kind of guide him and navigate him through that? Really just be here. Be where your feet are. Understand what you're doing and, and, and that – uh, I put something. Uh, go one of his goals for this this training camp is his first training camp on the Division One level. You know, embrace the unknown. You don't know, right? Just embrace every single day, um, one one step at a time, one drill at a time, uh, one meeting at a time. Just take it all in uh, and enjoy the process. And up to this point, he has. And uh, I hope that and I know he will continue to do the same. My last one is like, when you got here, did you look at 21 Josh McRae or did you just blank slate it? And if so, what have you seen out of him healthy? I, before I got here, I saw a little bit, uh, obviously from before, um, but I blank slated everything. Okay. Uh, you know, I want to see wh where you are now, where you are today, where you are in the present. Um, that's how we're going to form our opinions off of everything. And, and what I've seen, I've been pleased. He's, he's playing really good football right now. He's made huge uh, jumps from now, from the spring to now. Uh, he's, he's playing at a high level right now. I want to keep that going and keep making steps with him.